This feels weird. First day back at work after about 10 days off. I must say that I feel like I'm going into a new job today and I'm dreading having that moment when I feel like I'm gonna have to learn everything again. As you can see by my little ray of sunshine, it's like my own little bit of light. The weather here has been great. A couple of points to make on that, however, are that there have been a few fires happening up here on the moors which the army and the fire brigade have been joining forces to tackle. I uh, took the dog out this morning up to a vantage point where I can see the hills and from my own personal experience of seeing what's going on on the hills it looks like the fires have died down a bit now and or maybe they have gotten control of it at least but definitely less smoke today than there was a few days ago. So yeah, I spent my week off by going down to London to see a few friends. And unfortunately, I didn't get to see my mum and sister because I forgot I was going to Liverpool to see Flight of the Concords. So I had to come back from London early to make that trip. Flight of the Concords, great by the way. Didn't know all the songs because I'm not an avid fan of the show, but I did know a few of them, especially when they came out for the encore at the end and played I've Got Hurt Feelings, which is brilliant and then spent the rest of the week with the um, aim of doing quite a few things around the house, which I failed at. The weather here has just been so hot. Honestly, it's been close to 30 degrees all week. And I know what people might think. We complain about cold weather and the wet and the rain and the snow for so long that when the sunny weather comes here, we need to embrace it. But honestly, it is a factor in not preparing us for how hot it is when it is hot. Like I said, I came back with the best of intentions to do quite a few things this week. And for want of trying and the weather, I just didn't get many of them done. I was gonna do some work on the motorbikes, which I've produced a vlog for. If you haven't seen it, check the link above. Maybe you can offer me some tips on what I need to do moving forward with that project. I had some issues buying the tools. And then when I had the tools, I had some issues with the tools, which you'll see in that video. So. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box below about what I should do going forward with that bike project. All your help would be appreciated. I also wanted to work on my other project, which is my Vespa scooter project. And that is a whole strip down and respray of my Italian Vespa, changing the color. So that will also be something I want to work on in the future as I didn't get to do it this week. Serena and I visited a vegan festival in Stockport again. Check the link above. And we also got to taste some vegan donuts, which I'm pretty sure you'll all be interested in. So yeah, check that out. And now it is my first day back on the way to work and it's not got off to the best start. Totally out of routine due to my week off. Went to bed really late last night and I woke up a little bit late this morning. So I'm obviously going into work late today. I just want to feel Managed to play some poker over the week, which was brilliant. But seriously, it's been a week of up and downs in poker. So it began brilliantly down in London. Had an amazing session. I think it lasted about six or seven hours. And uh, the result then was a buy-in for 200, out for 588, plus a free spin on a big wheel, which cashed in and I won a 70 pound bottle of cognac, which is, you know, tip top. Excellent winnings at the poker table in London, where I did think the game was a lot softer. Being up here in Manchester, where the pool for poker players is a lot smaller, you might think that the game could be quite easy because there are fewer players, but I do find it harder up here. Depending on where I play, I find the players up here are a lot more willing to gamble. Therefore, they're a lot harder to play against because their ranges are wider. They play a lot more hands. So having said that, did very well down in London and then up here just over the weekend not too well at all played a couple of sessions one of them finished mainly even and then on the second session I finished down but we are still up we are still going for it we still have our records showing us up for the year which is great and we'll continue to try and run good for as long as we're playing yes, it's your England are still in the World Cup. They play Colombia in their next game. I know that there's been some upsets. I know that Spain are out. Russia beat them on pens. I know that Denmark have gone in a penalty shootout against Croatia. I know the Germans have gone. Big teams have fallen in this World Cup, but you know what? I gotta say one thing. 
coming home. Well, okay, back to work for the first day after holidays. So on the note of football, yeah, lots of things happening this month. A very exciting month to be at Manchester City Football Club. Coming up, I have a women's team's football shoot and we have the tour, which we go on towards the end of this month. And that was basically just an update of my last week because I haven't been in the car speaking to you lot in a while. So yeah, anyway, back to work. First day, better get on it. Coffee, meeting, rest of the day. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'm doing a walk series, a beer series, I'm doing a vegan series. I'm basically covering every aspect of my life in a playlist for you. So if you haven't seen it, click the links below to any of the playlists you fancy watching. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Hit like if you like and maybe share it with your friends so they can see it too. Right, off to work. Laters.